Hi fellow crafters, Craftily Creative Lady here. Today is all about you and your silhouette software and me to tell you all about it. Let's get crafting. Overlapping images may be altered in a variety of ways. The modify menu options provide welding and other advanced options to allow overlapping images to be adjusted. While the weld option may be found in the modify menu, there is also a quick access button located along the bottom tool panel of the software screen. Welding will take two or more selected overlapping images and join them together into one single continuous image. Welding can be partially useful when cutting so that the cut lines don't overlap during the cutting process. Subtract all. This option will remove any portion of an image that is in the back or behind another image. Divide. This option will create individual images from the intersections of up to eight selected images. Subtract. This option will remove all overlapping parts of an image that are in front of another image so that the only image located in the back will remain with the overlapping parts removed. Intersect. This option will leave only the overlapping part or intersecting part of the selected images when applied. Crop. This option will remove all areas that are not shared by at least two shapes when overlapping. Make a compound path or release a compound path. These options are the same options previously discussed in the section about compound paths. This tool will take overlapping embedded images and either make them into a compound path or release the compound path. Detach lines. When images are filled or have thick lines defined, this option may be used to detach and move the outline to create two separate images. One with just the lines and one with just the fold effects left behind. So here's the practical exercise. If you go to your modify menu, that's to the right of your screen again, it is that button right there. If you open that, you will see the first one is weld. So to weld letters, you must first do the following. You must type your two words, click on the two words, right click and say ungroup. So that each and every letter is not in a group like a font type of word image. So then you need to take every, let me just make this bigger. Then you need to take each and every letter and overlap the letter a bit so that we can weld the letters together. Can you see there's an overlapping effect every time I do this? You must just take these two together because, oh, no problem, it is together. So then you take the N and then you go to the G. So each and every letter needs to be overlapping. So you do the same with the E and the two T's. First T, second T, and the E. So each and every letter needs to overlap somehow, wherever. Can you see that? So there's all the letters overlapping now. Now you highlight everything and you click on Weld. Careful, have a look what happens now. So I'm going to click Weld. Voila, all the lettering are together now. So can you see there's one outline outside? Cool, hey? So now we move on to the Subtract All option you highlight your two images you say subtract all 
and then you will see that everything behind the square is gone now. Then we go to divide. There's one image and another image. It divides all the crossing lines. It cuts all the crossing lines. Then we go to subtract. This is what happens with subtract. Let's see what intersect does. Removes everything but the overlapping part. Now we move on to crop. Voila! This is a cool one, crop. Make compound path works like this. You've got two separate images. You click on make compound path. It becomes one in image. Can you see? One image. Then you can say release compound path. If you click on re release, it is two images again. Are you with me? So now we get to the last one, which is detach lines. So I have a, a square here with a very thick outside black line. If you click on the image, let me just first show you. This is one image. Can you see? So if you click on the image and click on detach lines, then you have two images. The inside, which is brown, and the outside, which was the line. Detach lines. And that's it from me and your Silhouette Studio Business Edition software. Thank you for watching my video. Till next time, goodbye.